All right, hi YouTube. Looks like YouTube is on live. Say hi when you jump on. Hello to Instagram. I see you guys. Amazing, say hi when you're joining. Let me know that everything's rocking and rolling perfectly. Facebook, are you there? Say hi when you jump on Facebook. Let me know that you're, you're there and you're present and you're ready to rock and roll. Beautiful, hello guys, hi, hi, hi. Say hi, let me know where you're tuning in from when you jump on. Love to know who's here on the line right now. Day three of Activate with Regan. Hello guys, hello. Hi from the Gold Coast, beautiful. All right, YouTube, let me know that you guys are working. There we go, cancel. Looks like you're good. Amazing, all right. Hi Facebook, hi Cindy, hi Teresa, hi Laurie, hey Steph, amazing. <laughs> Palm Springs, California, Melbourne, Vancouver, beautiful. I'm not seeing comments on Instagram, I mean on YouTube for some reason, but I can see numbers, so I'm assuming it's working. Maybe I just can't see the comments, let's see. If you're on YouTube, go ahead and type through because I would love to see you. Let me see if I can do it this way. Hopefully you guys are there and you can interact. I've been able to see it every other time. Hi guys, thank you. Beautiful Instagram, we've got Brazil in the house. We've got Malaysia, amazing. We've got the UK, 3 a.m. for you, Willow. You're amazing. <laughs> New Orleans, beautiful. We've got Florida, Tassie, New Hampshire, amazing. Yes, guys, yes, 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 Toronto. We've got England, Australia, New Zealand, beautiful. Okay, strange I'm not seeing these YouTube comments. I can see all the numbers increasing, so I'm gonna trust that it's working perfectly. Um, let me check on YouTube. Let me check on YouTube. And then we're gonna get right into it. Okay, I'm gonna check on YouTube on here just to triple check, because I would hate to do this and have YouTube miss out. <laughs> it wouldn't be very nice, would it? <laughs> okay. Beautiful, yay, amazing guys. I see all of you guys. Thank you for all your hearts, all your comments. Nice to see you as well. Hi from Austria, Melbourne, Sydney, New York City. Amazing, YouTube is fine, you're on both. Laurie, I love that you're on both. Okay, amazing. Laurie, are you able to type through on YouTube? It's so strange, I can't see it. I'm gonna roll with it if it's working perfectly. And I just know there'll be a stream of beautiful comments. I will check in on them later if, um, <laughs> if I can't see them, but that's fine. I just wanted to check we weren't having a tech error. Because <laughs> we don't want one of those, do we? Hi from Chile, amazing. Paris, Seattle. <sighs> okay, cool. Okay, it looks like YouTube's working fine. I just can't see the comments, so that's all right. No worries, YouTube. I'm going to check your comments later. I will check in after, but please keep typing through. Okay, beautiful. All right, let me close that down and we're ready to rock and roll. So guys, welcome to day number three of Activate with Regan. Welcome to Facebook, welcome to Instagram, welcome to YouTube over here. Uh, firstly, I would love, love, love for all of you guys to go ahead and hit share on this. Let's get even more people in this group, Vortex. If you've been on these other trainings, um, you'll know that they're really potent and they're powerful. And the more people we have on really tapping into the group energy, the more powerful it is. So please tag any of your friends on here who would love this, who would love to join into this. Um, please share, hit share on this as well because yeah, the more people we can get on, the more powerful it's going to be. Amazing, YouTube is working, good. All right, I just can't see it, but that's perfect. <laughs> we'll keep rolling. All right, guys, so I would love to know firstly, if you've been on all three, including today, of Activate with Regan, can you go ahead and type in a three? If you've been in just two of them so far, um, not include, so you've been on one other in this one, type in a two. And if this is your first one, type in one. I would just love to see who we've got on the line. Have you been on all three, including this one? Have you been on two of them? Or is this your first one? Lots of threes in the house. Yes, guys, wow. 
Woohoo! Look at Instagram. Three, 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 three. Love it so much. <laughs> three, share. Thank you guys. Thank you all of you for sharing. One, two, and three now. Amazing. Day three, beautiful one. Okay, welcome guys if it's your first time. Um, if it's your very first time on here, please go back and watch day one. You can absolutely be on live here, but just go back because there's extra value, right? And tuning in and checking in on day one and day two. So they disappear on Instagram. However, they stay up on Facebook and on YouTube. So you can go back, right? And, um, and access all the goodness. Yay, two, three, three, two, two, three, one, two. Amazing. All right, guys. Well, so good for many of you who've been on all three of these. And yeah, if it's your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are gonna go into a deep activation. You know, day one was really around getting clarity on your vision, right? And looking at what is your reason why that you actually want to go into these deep states of alchemy and transformation. And then day number two yesterday was all about clearing and releasing and shifting everything that was holding you back and stopping you from truly stepping into your power and into your true potential, okay? And day number three today, we are going to go into recalibrating your identity. And I'm gonna explain exactly what that means before we dive into it. But this is an important piece when it comes to truly activating this, okay? So firstly, I wanted to check in with you guys and I want you to just type through one word or a couple of words just around checking in with where you're at right now. Because you know, when we go into deep changes and shifts and transformations, it's really important to firstly acknowledge what's actually going on for you. And for some of you, you might be feeling amazing, you might have had an amazing day. For some of you, it might be like, yeah, like I feel a bit flat, I feel a bit down. Um, what's what's going on for you right now? Let's just, let's just take a little stock check on where you're actually at right now. And just type through one word or a couple of words into the chat box. And I just wanna get a few for where the group is actually at before we tap into this energy. Amazing, feeling laser focused, <laughs> wide awake, <laughs> amazing. A little bit tired, yeah, I cried a lot yesterday after the activation, right? Who else has energy and emotions, emotions shifting through? Been feeling tired, been feeling love and compassion, feeling better today, good, feeling better after the last activations. I had a heavy, heavy energy today, but I cleared it about an hour ago, nice work, amazing. Been feeling a little bit anxious, right? Yes, I know a lot of people are right now. Feeling inspired, feeling the energy of strong change, anticipation, feeling amazing, gratitude, calm, peaceful. Amazing, concerned but peaceful despite of all the chaos. And guys, yeah, Dana, that's really what it's all about, right? Can we can we find that stillness even if the world is exploding around us, even if there's total chaos around us in our personal life, in our planetary life, can we find that stillness right there? Feeling hopeful, feeling motivated, present, calm, and grateful. Whew. Yes, guys, so beautiful. I'm witnessing all of you and thank you for typing these through. It's so important to yeah get clarity on where are we actually at right now before we shift into this next phase, okay? So my intention is you're gonna feel amazing after this activation, right? And it's gonna really help you step into this next layer. So recalibrating your identity, day number three of activating with Regan, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, I've got all of you guys here. So if you see me darting around, looking in strange places, I'm looking at three of the cameras, okay? So recalibrating your identity, what does this actually mean? We all have an identity. And what this means is that most people think that they just are who they are and they don't really have any control over that. And that is not actually true, okay? We get to actually wake up and choose who we get to be each and every single day. And this is so important, guys, because most people think in life, you get what you do. You know, I want a different result, so I'm gonna do more, I'm gonna work harder. But this isn't really working for most people, okay? Because we don't get in life what we do, we get what we choose to be, okay? Because if it was just about doing more, doing more, doing more, and working harder and figuring out the next strategy, then everyone who was just strategizing and working really hard would be living their ideal life, would be, would be living the life which they were dreaming about, right? But last time I checked, that's not really the case, right? Give me a yes if you agree with me that it is about the being instead of the doing. 
okay? Yes, 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 I see you guys, absolutely, yes. It is all about the being. And then the doing does come and it does matter, but it's this extra piece on the end, right? Now, when it comes to, I love your emojis, Instagram, you're the best. You're like full on with all your heart emojis. <laughs> okay, so when it comes to the being, it can be a little bit confusing around, well, how do I be something else? What does that actually mean? Because many people say, Regan, I don't wanna be anything but myself. And guess what? I totally agree with you. So identity recalibration is not about becoming something or someone you're not. It's actually about getting in radical integrity with the truth of who you are. Because too many people out there are walking around and they're disconnected from their most powerful identity, from their most powerful version of themselves. They're disconnected. They're living into a lower version of themselves. And they're not truly showing up in their greatness, which means they're not manifesting the things they desire in their reality. So this process today is going to help you tap into that identity and start looking at what does that actually look like? What does that feel like? How do I get to choose this higher facet of myself? How do I get to recalibrate my identity from the inside out? And so if you think about this, this is not about faking it till you make it, right? Just to be clear, this is not about becoming something you're not. This is actually about getting integrity, in integrity with who you are. So take yourself back five years ago, okay? You were you, right? Just five years ago. And now speed it forward to now, you're still you. You're just here at now. You're just a more evolved, obviously more powerful, obviously better looking version of yourself. Cause that's just how it works, right? You're younger, better looking and more powerful. <laughs> so if you're you and five years ago you were you and now you're you now, well guess what? In the future, five years out, you're gonna be you still, right? But what most people do is they just cruise through their life and then eventually five years into the future, they become a more evolved version of themselves. What's interesting is that through this process, we're going to be collapsing out the time. And instead of just waiting out the five years, just like everyone else does, you guys are gonna be ahead of the game and you're gonna be using this process, this activation to tap into the most powerful version of yourself and recalibrate your identity so you get to show up as this version of you. So give me a yes if this is making sense and if you get it and you're excited to go into this activation. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Seeing you guys, amazing. So if this is your first time on Activate with Regan, I use a body of work which I call Energetic Architecture, which is a huge range of modalities which I've developed over the last 10 years. If you want a more detailed explanation on how it works and where it came from, you can check out day number one. But for the sake of everyone else who's been jumping on all the days, I'm not gonna explain the same thing, right? I'm just gonna jump right into it. Just know that this is a closed eye process which I guide you through and you actually create all the change and the transformation yourself even though I'm guiding you through it. If your mind comes in and you get distracted or you find yourself taken away from the activation, just draw yourself back to your breath and your body and focus back in on what I'm talking about. But there's no way to screw this up unless you're like, I don't know if this is gonna work, right? <laughs> as long as you're open and willing and available, then this is a super powerful process and I'm extremely excited to rock it out with you guys. Yes, I'm seeing all your comments, absolutely. Yes, 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 okay. So let's get some music going in the background. We're gonna have one of the Activating Abundance, Abundance Codes frequencies on, and I think it's appropriate to have the health frequency playing in the background. Can you give me a yes if you can hear that, guys? I wanna know you can hear the magical music, Elijah Ray's voice your angels coming through. These frequencies help you recalibrate back to your natural state. Even just listening to them, who goes, oh, I know I do. I use these frequencies in one moment to bring myself right back. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, guys, amazing. Beautiful. Okay. All right, guys, so let's jump into the activation. I'm super excited to do this identity recalibration with you. I'm gonna just leave the, 
the music gently recalibrating all of you guys in the background and we're gonna dive into it, okay? All right guys, so go ahead and gently close your eyes and allow yourself to turn inwards right now. Beautiful. You can sit or lie in a comfortable position, gently breathing in and out. That's it. Being present to everything that is present to you right now, tuning into your day, your emotions, your mindset, just getting clear on where you're at. As you begin to lean deeply into the intention of shifting and recalibrating through this powerful activation, allowing your identity through this process to be completely recalibrated, creating a new access point now and in the future for you to walk and talk and think and act as the most powerful version of yourself, despite the situation, despite the chaos, despite the madness, despite the uncertainty, despite any external circumstance that is attempting to pull or push you out of your center, when this access point is solidified, you will have this for life. That's it. Good. Allowing a red laser beam to shoot down from your tailbone, from your core, all the way down into the core of the earth, anchoring you, stabilizing you, grounding you in place. And simultaneously allowing a golden laser beam of light to shoot up your spine and up through your crown, all the way up, connecting you right now to your unique soul star, allowing you to be grounded, present, guided, protected, and supported heaven on earth embodied right here, right now. That's it. Good. Invoking all your divine guidance to come, come, come into the space, welcoming all the animal spirits, the angels, saints, sages, masters, beings of light of the highest vibration, these beings may be directly assigned to you. You may be consciously aware of them. You may know them by name, or you may simply request that guidance of the highest vibration associated to you is present right now. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come, come, come into the space. That's right. Beautiful. As you now expand and open your awareness, to the group vortex of every single soul present right here, right now, and every single soul simultaneously who tunes in and activates through this process across time and space, allowing every single one of their souls to be present here, right now. Allowing these souls to gather in a divine circle. You may see all of these souls gathering, circling with you. You may feel them, you may just simply know that they are there. You may feel the presence of a soul either side of you. Either way is absolutely perfect. That's right. Beautiful. And leaning once again into the intention to shift and recalibrate your identity into the highest frequency available to you right now so that you may show up and be more in this world each and every single day with total ease, total grace, and total flow. That's it. Good. Perfect. Now go ahead and in your mind's eye, pull up two mirrors right in front of you. You may see these mirrors visually in your mind's eye. You may feel them. You may just know that you have two mirrors pulled up right now. Either way is absolutely perfect. Go ahead and turn your intention to the first mirror. And as you draw your focus and your intention to the first mirror, you begin to look into the mirror and you see a reflection of yourself. This reflection of you looking back at you is an older facet of you. This is a version of you that chose to show up not in the most powerful way possible. This is a version of you that allowed your blocks and your limitations to get in the way. This is a version of you 
that sometimes said yes when they know they should have said no. And this is a version of you that sometimes said no when your soul knew the answer was yes. This is a version of you that allowed patterns of playing small and feeling not enough to be present and impact the steps that you then took in your reality. This is a version of you that sometimes sabotage things in an attempt to keep you safe and small and still in your comfort zone. We all have this reflection. We all have this version of ourselves. As you connect with this version of you, go ahead and simply begin to notice anything else that you are present to with this reflection right now. Any other patterns, any thoughts, any feelings, emotions, frequencies, anything associated to this old version of you that once held you back and blocked you and limited you. Notice anything else that is important for you to notice right now. That's it. Good. Now go ahead and draw your focus and your intention to the second mirror. And as you begin to connect right now to the second mirror before you, you notice there is indeed another reflection of you looking back at yourself. This version of you is the most powerful version of you you have ever witnessed to date. That's it. This version of you is so deeply grounded in the true essence of who you are. This version of you is a true divine embodiment of your soul. This version of you embodies the courage and the conviction to say yes when it's a yes and no boldly when it's a no. This version of you does not tolerate the old patterns, the doubts, the fears, the overwhelms, anything that stopped you in the past. This version of you simply doesn't tolerate any of those things being a limitation. Go ahead and connect right now with the second reflection, the powerful version of you and simply begin to notice this version of you. How do they walk? How do they talk? What do they focus on each and every single day? What do they boldly say yes to? What does this version of you boldly say no to? What kind of people does this version of you associate with? What does this version of you put in your body? What do they eat? How do they move their body? What does this version of you do to show up each and every single day to honor your soul, to live into your fullest, highest potential? Go ahead and now simply notice what else is important to notice about this version of yourself. Notice all of it right now. That's it. Notice anything else that is important to you when it comes to connecting with this best version of yourself. That's it. Good. And now from this place of awareness, 
Go ahead in your mind's eye and take one small step back. So you are now witnessing both the mirrors side by side. And as you look at both of these mirrors, you realize you are at a choice point. You have a choice each and every single day as to which version of you you connect to, which version of you you show up as, which version of you you say yes to. In the past, maybe unconsciously, you have let this lower version of you take charge and you haven't created the space to truly embody the highest version of that at a choice point. That's it. In this present moment in time, you get to choose exactly which version of you you take forward into your future. But guess what? You can only take one version. Connect. One minute while we pause. <laughs> Okay, good, it looks like we're coming back. Looks like Instagram, YouTube is back, Facebook is back. Beautiful, guys, we're gonna drop back in. Beautiful, yeah, we had a quick little pause. We're gonna drop right back in. All right, guys. Okay, so close your eyes and turn back inwards, and if you recall, you were at a choice point, correct? Two mirrors in front of you. The first mirror is the version of you that has held you back, the second mirror is the most powerful version of you. You're at a choice point where you get to choose one, one of these mirrors to take forward into your future. And from this place, assuming that you chose the second most powerful mirror to take forward into your future, go ahead and connect right now to that first mirror the mirror that has blocked you and stopped you and held you back and created an illusion that you needed to play small in the world. Connect with that mirror right now. And then in whatever way you desire, go ahead and release that reflection, release that mirror. You may choose to dissolve that mirror out of your consciousness right now. You may choose to break the mirror, allowing it to shatter into pieces before your eyes. You may choose to allow it to easily and effortlessly float and dissolve and drift away. Whatever you choose to do in your process, go ahead and get rid of the first mirror now. That's it, allowing it to dissolve, 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 clearing out any residual pieces associated to that mirror and to that old reflection, dissolving, clearing, shifting, dissolving, clearing, banishing that reflection and that facet of you out of your consciousness now. That's it. Good. Beautiful. And as you now connect with the one remaining mirror and you look back at yourself and you see your reflection looking into your own eyes, go ahead and take a moment to connect at a deeper level to the most powerful version of yourself as you look into your own eyes and witness yourself right now. That's it. Beautiful. Go ahead right now and surround this mirror with golden white light. That's it. Surrounding it with golden white light and allow this mirror to transform into a ball before your very eyes. That's it. Allowing this ball of golden white light right now to be encoded with all of the pieces of information desired and required in order for you to truly embody the most powerful version of yourself. That's it. 
Now bring this mirror, this golden ball of white light, encoded with all the pieces of information, closer, 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 closer into your field until it is hovering just above you, just before you. And now bring this golden ball of white light into your heart center in whatever way you choose, allowing that to integrate into your heart. You may bring your hands to your heart. You may just simply do this in your mind's eye. Whatever feels good for you is absolutely perfect. As this ball of golden white light settles within the field of your heart, that's it, encoded with all of the pieces of information desired and required in order for you to truly embody the highest identity available to you right now. That's it. This ball of golden white light, go ahead and right now, allow it to implode into every single cell of your being, allowing every single cell to wake up, wake up, wake up and receive all of the divine pieces of information encoded within this mirror. All of the frequencies, all of the wave patterns, all of the pieces of geometry, the thought patterns, the emotions, the strategies, everything required and desired in order for you to truly embody this next layer of your identity, allowing every single cell to wake up, wake up, wake up and fuse right now with the unique vibration of this core identity, allowing you right now to become one with that, dropping and dissolving out any residual layers of that old identity, allowing that to drop and dissolve and clear out of your system, out of your field, out of your body. Now, Beautiful. As every single cell encoded with your highest identity, vibrating with your highest identity, begins to truly remember the true essence of who you are. I choose my highest identity. I choose my highest identity. I choose my highest identity. I remember who I am. I remember who I am. I remember who I am. That's right. Beautiful. And as all of this begins to ground and stabilize into your field right now, begin to pull your awareness out to the group of divine souls who are also present going through this activation also. That's it. And as you connect with all of these souls and all of these beings, allow yourself to simply make eye contact with one other soul in the circle. You may know this soul this may be a new soul to you. Either way is absolutely perfect. But allow yourself to connect and look into their eyes right now and let them know, I see you, I witness you, I witness your highest identity. And now continue to look into their eyes and now simply receive as this soul says back to you, I see you, I witness you, I witness your highest identity. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for doing this work. Thank you for recalibrating your identity from the inside out. That's it. Allowing all of this to anchor and lock and record into the field right now. Allowing all of this to gently stabilize in. That's it. Gently beginning to bring your awareness back into your body. 
as we begin to close down the field. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all the guidance in your own way with so much gratitude in your heart. Go ahead and allow yourself to be grateful for your own guidance and your own capacity to step and truly recalibrate into your next identity. That's it. Requesting that all of these shifts and upgrades and transformations continue 24 hours a day, seven days a week with total ease, grace and flow until they are fully stabilized, integrated, embodied and complete. That's it. And so it is. Allowing yourself to come gently back into the space. Ah, gently opening your eyes when you are ready. How are you guys doing? I have happy tears. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> So good, thank you. Oh, YouTube has comments now. Beautiful, thank you, thank you. Amazing. So it is. Thank you, thank you. Third eye opened. Whew, yes, you're awesome. <laughs> wow, eye opening, thank you. I cried a bit, yeah. Yeah, it's a big release and a big recalibration, guys, when we go through this process. I love you too, Gracie. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, thank you. Yes, Christina, Mario, Michelle, Ismail, Christine, Marianne. I see you guys. Yes. Deeply home. Thank you, Kim. Peaceful, beautiful, amazing. Okay, guys, so what is one word that you want to anchor into the field right now? What is your anchor point? of your one word that you're connecting to right now. What is that for you? <laughs> Heat. <laughs> yes, physical body shifting, power, bliss, love, beauty, tingly, <laughs> joy, trust, unconditional love, powerful, infinite, yes, supported, prosperity, yes, buzzing, Received, aho, Yellen, amazing, bliss, yes, light, love, peace, love, stabilize that, yes, possibility, embodiment, newly reborn, strength, bliss, grace, yes, Andrea, bliss, good health, yes, peace, joy, yes, guys. <laughs> Anchoring it all in. You guys are amazing. Woo. We did it. We did it. We had a little blip there for a moment. I lost you guys or some of you guys for a minute, but we paused and we got back straight in the zone. <laughs> so I believe the recording um, should probably actually just skip and jump in and out with no interruptions, which would be great, but we'll see. <laughs> we did it though. I'm happy we got it finished. Didn't want to leave you guys hanging halfway through an activation <laughs> in a trust, calm, grateful. Yes, guys, rebirth, amazing, positive, so beautiful. Okay, guys, well, that's day number three. I have something exciting to share with you, actually, so I want to share this quickly with you. But firstly, if this has been of value, please share this. Please tag me in your stories. Please let me know your, your biggest breakthroughs and your takeaways. I read every single one of your comments. I read every single one of your Instagram stories that you post. I see every one of your shares. I really do look at all of them. So I love seeing them, right? So please tag me in all of them and let's share this and get this out to even more people, right? So we can have even more people on these vortex is thousands of people on right now collectively across all the platforms and tens of thousands at least which will go through potentially hundreds of thousands actually which will go through all five of these so guys you're part of a big vortex and every single one of one of you doing this work counts you know if it was just me sitting here doing this by myself it's really not as powerful as all of us coming together and doing it so thank you thank you thank you thank you for showing up and doing this beautiful work 
and being so open and trusting and available. Yeah, yes guys, I always do a big um, protection bubble. Um, that's just the ball of uh, golden light at the beginning, but I always, I always have one running through the whole field. You can always do that yourself as well. It's a great practice actually just to do morning and night when you wake up, right? Just surround yourself with a golden ball of light and request that you're always protected, guided and supported throughout your day. Uh, it makes a big difference when you actually just start your day like that, right? So guys, I wanted to share something really quickly with you. Um, the other day, it was probably about two days ago, actually, I, I woke up and I was feeling a lot of things moving through me. I think I shared this actually on day one. I felt a lot of anxiety and a lot of um, just waves and ripples of what the collective is going through. And there were a couple of things in my personal life and my personal situation, which I was then worried about and figuring out. Um, but this was very much a collective thing. And I was, I was feeling all the energy that the planet was shifting through. And so, of course, I did my work, right, to shift through it. I wasn't just gonna sit in it all day. I was like, oh, I need to clear this vibe so I can have a good day. So what I did is, I realized firstly that, okay, cool, if I'm gonna do this work for myself, I may as well do this for the planet because there's no separation, right? When we're here and we're working on your personal journey, we're also working on the evolution of the planet. And last time I checked, the planet needs us guys right now more than ever, more than ever before, right? And so I sat down and I, I started to do this activation Right, and I started to work on my own system to literally reset it, recalibrate it, so I could rise for the rest of my day. And then I thought, huh, that's interesting. I could also reset, recalibrate the planet energetically so the planet can rise and I can assist in this. And so I sat down and I did this activation. It was, I think, about 35 minutes long, and I actually recorded it. Um, so that I could go through it over and over again. I've been using it over the last few days and it's extremely potent. As you can imagine, 35 minutes of <laughs> going deep into this um, is no joke. You know, you guys are, are here with Activate with Regan, so you're getting a good feel for the work, but you know, we're like 10 minutes in the field, right? This is 35 minutes, right? So it's deep work. Um, so I recorded it and I would love to have it available to any of you guys who actually want to access it and I've, I've yeah done a lot to make it available and get the I got the team to put it all together and put all the details on there so if you guys do want to access this just comment below with RRR, right? Which stands for Reset, Recalibrate and Rise with Regan. And you can literally, we'll send you the details on how to access this and you can have this activation for life if you do want to go through it. Um, so yeah, again, this is brand new. It's for right now. This is not something I used years ago and I keep coming back to this. I recorded this literally like 48 hours ago, whenever it was that I was feeling I needed to shift. Um, and I needed more than my usual toolkit, right? Of all my tools I needed, I needed something literally recalibrating my system for the now, because what we're going through on the planet is so intense, right? So yeah, the Regan Hillier Angels have a link <laughs> and they're gonna find it <laughs> and send it to everyone who comments with RRR. And yeah, I'm really excited for all of you guys who do want to reset, recalibrate and rise. And especially the people that really get that it's not just about yourself at this time. You know, this is why also I'm showing up and I'm doing this for free right now. It's not just about me, right? It's, it's about the planet. We're in this together and we're only going to rise through this together and we must collectively together reset and recalibrate not only ourselves but the planet so we can all shift and rise um, collectively so I'm seeing your comments we'll absolutely get this out to you um, I'm excited for you guys to access this as well. And day number four we are back here tomorrow same time Day number four, we may have a guest expert on, a little surprise um, a visit from someone. I'm not gonna tell you who it is, but we may have two of me tomorrow. <laughs> you guys will see, but I'm excited for day four. Day four, guys, we're going to start actually building a relationship with your higher self now that we've shifted and recalibrated your identity so that you can actually get into a place where your identity is shifted and recoded from the inside out and you guys saw how powerful that was from this place now we can establish a deep connection to your higher self so that is what we're going into tomorrow get ready seatbelts on <laughs> because <laughs> we're going to be flying <laughs> and it's going to be amazing and i'm super excited so Thank you guys for being here. I love you all so much. Yes, comment below with RRR, 
reset, recalibrate and rise if you want the details to access this. And um, yeah, we've made this really easy for everyone to do this. And I will see you tomorrow. Guys, please tell your friends about this, post the stories, tag me, share this. Let's just make this vortex bigger and bigger and bigger every day. And so guys, thank you so much for jumping on. I love you all so much. Uh, thank you, Sprite, you're amazing. <laughs> amazing, <laughs> Sprite says we love one of you. That's cool, well there's gonna be two. <laughs> there's gonna be a, a surprise guest. <laughs> amazing. Yes, guys, all right, I could sit here all night and chat to you, but. I'm gonna go, it's our evening now, so I hope you have a really beautiful day wherever you're at. Trust your integration flow and your process if you feel to go inwards now and, and really go deeper into this process and really feel everything that's shifting or maybe you're full of energy and you're ready to go rocket in the world and your day, maybe it's time for you to sleep wherever you're at. I'm just, yeah, really trust your rhythm on that. So guys, thank you for being here. I love you all so much. And remember, of course, you absolutely can have it all. See you tomorrow. Mwah. Ciao to Facebook. Ciao to Instagram. And of course, ciao to YouTube.